Black annealing, white contrast, deep engraving, color marking. All of these are easily achievable on our Meta X17 Mopa fiber systems. So today we're gonna to look at the pros and cons of each of these marks on a few different metals, so you can see which mark would be right for you, and so you can get a sense of what you can achieve with a great Mopa fiber laser. We're gonna kick off with stainless steel. So black annealed marking is one of the most popular ones people go for. It's great for traceability and serialization or making things like QR codes. It's also a surface level mark, there's no indentation into the metal, all it does is creates a thin oxidized layer on the surface of the metal that absorbs all visible light. So of course to us, appears as a nice high contrast black mark. It's a really great finish. The only con that you could say that it has is it's a little bit slower than some of the others. But if you're looking for quality over speed, black annealing is popular for a very good reason. And it's very easy to get results even with tiny details on our fiber systems. There is of course also white marking, which leaves this lovely sharp white finish on stainless steel. Now the only slight con of this is that you can lose a little bit of contrast when you're looking at it from different angles, but but the big advantage it has, it is incredibly quick to apply. So if you are looking for speed over contrast, or you just prefer the look of the white rather than the black, then white marking is a great option for you. Of course, these two are surface marks. If you're looking to get a little bit of depth into the material, then it's very easy to simply crank up the power a little bit until the laser is actually eating away at the layers of the stainless steel. And you get this beautiful embossed effect, but it's still just as sharp as the other two marks even if in the first instance, you might need to give it a little clean to see the final polished results. It's very quick to apply as well, and it's very easy to control the depth going into the metal by increasing the number of loops. So you could say, I want it to do the same thing five times, 10 times, 15 times, and each one will achieve a slightly deeper result. And finally, we have the jazziest one of the bunch, color marking. Like annealing, color marking works by creating a thin oxide layer, but instead of absorbing all light, it absorbs all light apart from one part of the color spectrum. And that is why we see here that it appears blue and red. Red. Like with the black annealing, it is a little bit slower to apply than the white mark, but does leave a great finish when done well. Let's move on from stainless steel to aluminium. So the only thing is aluminium can't do color marking, but my goodness, you can get some sharp, high contrast results. This piece of black anodized aluminium has a really crisp white mark on it that is incredibly quick to apply. So you can get really crisp, clear results if you're looking to make things like cereal plates, black anodized aluminium can be a really quick way of doing it. You can also get some great depth into an aluminium plate, which leaves you this kind of beautiful matte finish with a little bit of an embossed look to it. This again is relatively quick to apply. It's similar to the deep engraving we did on the stainless steel, but the finish is really crisp and sharp. And because of the fact that it has some depth to it, it looks really consistent from every angle. If you're looking for a commercial engraving solution, this incredibly powerful X17 fiber laser source comes in our Micrometer, our Meta C and our Meta XY. So no matter if you're marking something small or something big, one part or hundreds of parts, don't worry, we have a solution for you. If you have any questions about these marks or maybe about a material that I haven't covered in this video, then by all means, put it in the comments. I will get back to you as quick as I can. And hopefully soon you will see a video about your material. If you want to know anything else, please head to lotuslaser.com. We've got loads of great information there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.